Hi guys, welcome to HD Arachnids. Uh, we're going to do another little quick rehouse here. We just did about five or six videos of these today, and we're going to we might piece a couple together the quicker ones, and then some of them will be standalones. This one is a rehouse on our Zenesis Intermedia, Rosie. And she's a real, real cool looking spider, especially when they're mature. And we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the enclosure set up first, and then we'll get her transferred over and uh, show you guys the whole process. Alright. Now, first we're going to just toss in some substrate. Almost thought there's some pork bark in there. I don't know why, but it's alright. Usually do about half full, a little over half, and then pack it down real nice. Our substrate is just a kind of a 40-40-20 mix of organic topsoil and uh, cocoa fiber and then a little bit of uh, peat moss thrown in there for moisture retention. And these guys are a little bit, they're not super moisture dependent, but they're a little bit more moisture dependent than, uh, than some of the tarantulas we have. One thing I like about this mix is it really holds moisture well and you can get that, you know, that moist layer on the bottom so they can burrow and find their own humidity level pretty easily and it holds burrows real well and all that too. Alright, and so for her I'm going to use this little hide. I think it's technically for a fish tank, but I bought it a while ago and I haven't used it yet, so I think I'm going to try it in this one. I'm just going to push it down in there. I don't know if she'll like it, so I also am going to give her a little bit of a cork bark option too. Just to kind of figure out what she likes. Just gonna take a little bit more dirt here and just kind of put it over the top just to kind of make it blend in a little bit. There's yep. kind of a hole on this side that you just covered up. No. Oh. Well, then maybe that's a bad idea. Let me see. I didn't think that through. Alright. Well, maybe we won't put some dirt over the top. It's not necessary. It's a brown color. It'll be alright. Alright, so. Just kind of. Pack some of the dirt down, make sure we can still see her, because then if she doesn't cover it up, we can still kind of look at her, but who knows, she might cover yeah, it's it kind up. Of nice. I like having the hides up against the yeah, a side like that, so you can peek in there at them. A lot of them will just sort of block it off with dirt so you can't see them. It seems like they don't like the light in there at all. Yeah, they don't like to be seen. So we'll just kind of pack some of that down. Alright, and then, because I know she's in cork bark right now, so I think she really prefers it, so I'm still going to give her that option over in this corner. I'm just going to push it down in there. And I take the paintbrush, just dip some of the dirt out as like a little starter burrow for him. And the substrate's pretty moist already because it's fairly fresh. We made this batch not too long ago, so you don't really have to soak it down and add any water to it at this point. It'll yeah. have to dry out a little bit before we do that. And then I just try to put some of the dirt just kind of on the top just to kind of make it so this makes it more secure so it doesn't kind of shift around in there or anything. and fall on the tarantula but then I also got to make sure that I don't block the vent holes but I think this was kind of good she might like this all right so then I'm gonna probably Put a little bit more in hers than I do others because, you know, I just feel like it. Well, a really pretty tarantula deserves a really pretty enclosure. So, let's see what I've got for plants. I'm very low on some of my supplies, so I'll have to get some more stuff here soon, but I'll take. And this tarantula was actually a freebie. We ordered a, a really large mystery box from uh, Palp Trekking Tarantulas. And they gave us a couple of freebies, and one of the freebies actually happened to be a Zenitsa species, which Florida you know, is normally a fairly, fairly expensive tarantula, but I guess if you spend that kind of money, you get a pretty decent freebie usually. All right, so I just poked a little hole with the paintbrush, and I'm just going to take a couple of these. I'm just going to push them down in the corner in case she wants to web or whatever. No real reason, just because they look cool. Alright, and then as I've done in my other ones, I'm just going to take some of my moss and just sprinkle it over just for some color. And I guess apparently it helps hold moisture. I don't know. That's what they say. Just a little bit more here. Just to kind of give it some color and stuff. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and pop in the water. And then I think I'll put her water dish over in this corner, I think. And then. And you can use almost anything for a water dish that holds water. Yeah. Most of ours are bottle caps and whatnot. Yeah. And then I have these little, just plastic pink little egg things. There's no, re no they don't do anything, but they're just kind of cool decorations. So I'm going to put a couple of those in the corner for her. Squirt a little water in her dish. And now we're ready to maneuver her over. So, pretty cute little looking closer. Yep. It really looks nice. All right. So let's get her over here. I think it looks nice. A little bit. And they're easy to make. They literally take just a couple minutes. So. Yeah. My wife is definitely the uh, the main enclosure maker. She has a knack for making things look real nice. And all they really need is dirt and cork bark, but I just add stuff because why not? Right, she's way down in there under that cork bark. I don't know if you can no, you can kind of see her on the camera a little bit. Yeah, she's down in there, so we're just going to lift that cork bark up out of there, and hopefully she uh, hopefully she cooperates for us. Better angle on the camera here. Right. This one I don't think will fit in the bin, even though we need to get a bigger bin, is what we need. <laughs> but hopefully, she'll be. Yeah, hopefully, this is she'll an be easy nice. One. Yes. Alright, so we're just going to pull this cord bark out of here just like so. Just kind of move that over there. Looks like we accidentally kind of buried her though, unfortunately. So we'll just gently move this stuff out of the way. Oh, it didn't actually fall on her, it just locked up her hole a little bit. So we'll gently move all this over here. And she should be right about, right about there. Yeah, I see her. We just probably need to cut that out. Oh, careful. She's not going to be happy now that we just did this, but oh, there she is. Yeah, we okay. Yeah. And you can tell she's definitely ready for. Her. She's definitely ready for a rehouse. She's a little bit too big for this one. Whoa! Where's the catch cup? Well, that's her in it, so. Just give one of those just in case. And we'll see what we can do about getting her to kind of screw over there real nice. Ooh, good lord, she is jumpy. She's not happy. No, she's not. She's throwing she those in. quite a bit bigger than I thought she was. Yes, she is. Come on, Come on. Okay, good, good go. job. All right, good job. Look at that nice house. All right. We've got some toys. Let's see if we can get a little better shot of the spider here for you guys. Got a butt up in the air. What's up with that? And she's definitely giving us a little bit of a butt in the air pose there. But off I'm really are. excited for the spider to get older. I hope I hope it's a male, to be honest with you, because the males of this species are just strikingly beautiful. All right. Well, look at the lid on there, so she doesn't. I was hoping she would move her. around a little bit more, so we can get a better look at her. But I can give her a little tap on the back. I don't want her to jump out either. Okay. All right, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get a nice, nice view of her. She's got a little bit of dirt on her from the rehouse, obviously, but she's got that nice dark bug with the red hairs on it. And no real adult colors on the carapace yet, but uh, I'm not expecting that for a few more molts at least. She molted a couple weeks back, didn't she? Yeah, she molted about two weeks ago, give or take. And uh, that's why we waited so long to rehouse her, we just wanted to make sure that she was. Okay, you know, the spider that costs this much money, you want to you wanna be as careful as you can possibly be. <laughs> but, uh, well, like I said, we didn't actually end up paying for this one, but it was a freebie, but still, you want to be careful. I mean, you always want to keep the welfare of your animals in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, get the lid on her there and get her put away so she can settle in. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, like and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, and uh, feel free to leave us comments down below as to uh, what we can do for better videos or what we can do to make our videos better or anything that you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching, guys.